thing we want to do is define extrema and relative extrema. Extrema is also known as absolute extrema. A function f is defined on a closed interval a, b, containing the x value of c. f of c is the minimum if the y value there is less than or equal to all the other y values in the entire interval. It's called the maximum if the y value there is greater than or equal to all the other values of an inter in the interval. These represent the absolute extrema. We also have relative maximum and relative minimums for shorter intervals. To order, in order to find these maximum minimums, we first find the critical values, or where the first derivative is equal to zero. We compare the function values at the critical values with those at the two endpoints. So let's take our example, y equals 3x to the fifth minus 5x cubed. Here's our graph. And we want to find relative and absolute extrema on the interval. Let's go from negative 2 to 2. So we're going to go from negative 2 up to 2. So we begin by taking the derivative of 3x to the fifth, which would be 15x to the fourth, minus 15x squared. We set this equal to 0 so we can find the extrema. We can factor out a 15x squared, and we're left with x squared minus 1. We solve this equation, x can equal 0, x can equal plus 1, or x can equal minus 1. These are going to be the critical values for this equation. So let's find the y value in each case. y of 0 in this case would be equal to 0. y of 1 would be equal to negative 2. And y of negative 1 would have a value of positive 2. So 1, negative 2 gives us a relative minimum. Negative 1, 2 gives us a relative maximum. But to find the extrema, we also need to look at what happens at y equal to What's the y value when x equals negative 2? We put negative 2 in here. 3 times negative 2 to the fifth minus 5 times negative 2 cubed gives us 3 times negative 32 minus 5 times negative 8 gives us negative 96 plus 40 or negative 56. So this is going to be our absolute minimum. And if we proceed with finding the value in x equal 2, we wind up with 56. So that's going to be our absolute maximum value. So we've defined extrema and relative extrema and looked at them on the graph here.